Hello everyone. So welcome to our channel Jana AI. So in our previous lecture we have discussed about generative AI. So in that lecture we have discussed about the different types of model in generative AI, generative AI like LLM, large language model, large image model, audio model, uh, video model. So let's today discuss about what is LLM model that means large language model. So let us discuss about it. What is large language models? LLM models are used in generative AI to refer the powerful models that is used deep learning, uh, learning neural networks to generate human human like text and forms the creative contents. So these models are used in um, generative AI, uh, which are using the deep neural network. It, it this model can gen generate the text and other form of creative context. These models are um, generated to, um, designed to generate coherent and the contextually relevant text uh, by, by giving an input or prompt. Whatever the input or prompt we are using this model, um, by using this model only it can generate the new content, okay, new content or um, a new output for the which are very relevant to our input data. And they have de demonstrated the ability to compose uh, the stories, um, question answering, language translation, um, summary states, and events in the conversation uh, with the users. These models are used in your um, question answering uh, applications, uh, language translation like um, German to uh, English, English to German, English to Hindi, English to Bengali. It, it, it can generate, the, it can, these models can do summarization of a text uh, of a huge amount of text and data. It can summarize huge, huge amount of news articles also it can summarize that um, articles and it can generate the headings of these articles and if these are models are used in your um, chatbot gpt like of applications conversation applications also so let's discuss about the what are the key features of llm models there are different types of uh, the, the main the main features of this models is size uh, the llm models like gpt3 lambda they are using massive neural networks they are, they are using massive number of neural networks okay we have during the training period with a billion numbers of parameters uh, like let's say um, in gpt3 they, uh, it is using uh, 175 billion of uh, parameters while during the, during the training period and in gpt4 the latest uh, gpt4 which is developed by open uh, that is uh, that has been used um, using around uh, let's say 200 billion of parameters okay so this is this is the main key features and what are the um, next that is the pre-training or fine-training LLM models are typically pre-trained or a massive amount of text data that is coming from internet so in our internet um, uh, whatever the text data it has these models are using uh, this um, uh, term, um, uh, using the for this training purpose now these models are using I mean, not only the internet but also some other resources like uh, your other data sets um, like um, books uh, different types of books blogs um, it, the, and uh, also the Wikipedia also so it's um, um, it, uh, these models are uh, using this um, uh, data textual data which are um, available in the internet books and blogs uh, wh whatever it is and it is understanding the data and based on this data only based on the uh, training data only based on the pattern of this data only it can generate the next it can generate the predict the output okay next word in a sentence from the context so that's why it is called the pre-training model and the fine-tuning fine-tuning means uh, uh, if, if the answer is not right um, whatever the new data is coming then it can um, take that um, input data or form then it, it can um, train those the new data then what are the other features like contextual embedding large more language models LLM models are contextual word embedding so these models are using the word embedding so i'll discuss you later uh, what is the word embed embedding in nlp so, such as word vectors produced by the transformer these are using the transformer architecture okay and then uh, so what about the word we are giving like uh, input then uh, this or only not this word will be uh, converted into a vector okay produced by the transformer and to represent the words in a the way that the considering the surrounding concept so it will it will try to define it will try to similarity the question similarity of this word okay first of first of all it will convert this word into a vector uh, after that it will find out the question similarity of this vector okay 
देन व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट फीचर इज द क्रिएट टेक्स्ट क्रिएटिव टेक्स्ट जनरेशन सो आफ्टर ऑल दिस प्रोसेसिंग लाइक द द आफ्टर टेकिंग द ऑल द डेटा फिटनिंग एंड फाइटनिंग देन एम्बेडिंग ऑल द थिंग्स देन इट कैन आफ्टर दैट ओनली दिस मॉडल कैन जनरेट कैपेबल ऑफ क्रिएटिंग कॉन्टेस्ट टेक्स्ट जनरेशन including story writing poem from uh, composition and dialogue generation so whenever you are um, giving any prompt or input um, uh, let's say uh, what is the capital of india so um, this um, text only it will be converted into your um, um, vector after that only um, by the question similarity only um, by question similarity and all the techniques transfer transformer architecture only it will generate the new text or context like text generation uh, story uh, writing poem composition style of generation this type of use cases this type of application it can create so that's why it's called the generative model means it from the input input data only it can generate the new data okay it can predict the new data llm what are the llm you have means uh, what are the llm used now we will discuss about the llm used in generative ai application first you can see text generation in text generation llm can be used in the text in a variety of purpose such as writing news articles creative uh, or market copy uh, generating the code so um, uh, this type of llm models are used in your um, in, in the writing purpose email writing uh, so uh, you, if you want to write something uh, news articles uh, or any social media blog, blog social media blog creating the marketing um, advertisement and all script and all um uh, so it can generate the code for you i suppose if you are give, um, give us any uh, to write a python program of adding the two numbers it can generate the code for you okay so uh, for the text generation it uh, this model is used uh, second is your machine translation like the language translation no llms can be used in translate text from uh, one language to another, another language so like the google translator or other there are different translator is there so from uh, in this translator only if you are uh, providing any uh, language like say english language uh, so it can uh, it can um, convert this language uh, to another lang um, another language so for in english to hindi english to bengali english to german from uh, bengali to english uh, so the uh, by this uh, transformer model on, only uh, this can generate uh, from one language to another language there are other use cases like question answering llm can answer the questions about the text so if, if you are asking something um, asking something to this llm model it will it will give you the answer um, okay uh, and other is your creative writing even by this llm models can be used to generate in your creative format such as poems um, it can create the poems for you it can create the uh, code scripts uh, musical pieces emails um, you can create an email later so many use cases are there um, are there for this llm model so llm used in uh, how you will discuss about where you mean so uh, which companies are using this llm models first one is your famous that is your chat gpt so chat gpt open ai chat gpt gpt3 um, and then now uh, in now is the gpt4 came so gpt3 is a large language model that has been used to generate um, the text translate language and sir questions it also used to create content text format such as poems code script and musical pieces so gpt means uh, generative free text transformer uh, three uh, they, they are using this uh, large language model which are using very widely Uh, to for the generating text translate language and question answer and so many even use cases it is using google is also a large language model that is google lambda okay and lambda is a large language model that has been used to generate the context is doing the same thing that whatever the gpt3 can um, uh, gpt4 can do same thing can be done by the google lambda okay which uh, which is uh, now available uh, now known as google bar okay the ma model which are they are using that is your lambda model llm model which they are using that is your lambda model and facebook also has their own llm model like, like the facebook and blender bot blender bot is a llm model that has been used to generate text means textual um, data that dealing with the textual data okay they are taking the textual input and translate language and uh, question answer it can also used to create the formats poems and code everything okay so these are the um, um, big companies which are uh, using this llm models like um, open ai has the chat gpt google has its own llm model that is your lambda which will be known as uh, bart 
um, Google bot and um, and Facebook also they are lab, in a modern like Facebook Blender bot. Now, now we'll discuss about the, there are other companies also uh, using this uh, models uh, like that Google Farm what I have discussed and the farm um, they are using 540 billion of parameters lambda 135 billion of parameters but relation on lambda okay meta uh, meta means uh, they are also using their own uh, they have announced a few days back the opt ml which is uh, which is the very big large llm model by which is developed by meta that is using 175 billion of parameter galastica blender bot 3 okay so, and OpenAI, you know that, that that is the famous LLM model like GPT-3, um, 175 billion parameters uh, currently. The GPT-4 also they have been introduced that is using around more than 200 billion of parameters. There are other companies which are who, who are using on the, also this in, uh, transformer based uh, LLM models that like that Big Science Bloom. Um, they are using uh, 176 million parameter. Why you also have um, uh, their own uh, LLM models like Pango. NVIDIA also they are uh, own uh, LLM models like uh, Me Megatron Tuning, um, LG AI Research. They are using their own um, uh, LLM models, XR1, AI21 Labs. So these are the all the LLM based models which will be even, which, um, which are used by different companies. Uh, to uh, uh, solve the business use cases and so many things so that's all into the, today's lecture um, uh, so in the next lecture we'll discuss about transformer this home and uh, that uh, type of architecture llm based architecture like transformer but um, uh, attention mechanism and all so many things and so if you want to know more about this uh, llm models and all you can visit to our website which uh, link is there in our video description you can go through that you can go through our online portal so that's all in today's lecture. See you in the lecture. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.